Hi, in this story, I'm going to explain boundary value analysis. Boundary value analysis is a technique of black box texting in which input values at the boundaries of the input domain are tested. It has been widely recognized that input values at the extreme ends of and just outside of input domains tend to cause error in the system functionality. So in boundary value analysis, values at and just beyond the boundaries of input domain are used to generate test cases to ensure proper functionality of the system. So let's take an example for a system that accepts input number between 1 and 10. Boundary value analysis will indicate that test cases should be created for the lower and upper bounds of input domain which is 1, 10 and values just outside these bounds which are 0 and 11 to ensure proper functionality. Boundary anal value analysis is a very good way to catch common user input errors. For example, let's take a GUI field, text field where we are going to enter number between 1 to 10. If I enter minus 5 which is less than 1 should be cached by the system or you can say validation system also the same applies for number about 10 like 12 11 13 or any random 20 so so this is excellent way to catch common user input errors which affects the proper program functionality and this method actually complements technique of equivalence partitioning but you get more specific with boundary value analysis. The advantage here is that you can expose a lot of input problems and you get more focused on those input areas and guidelines are very clear so that it's easy to write test case. Also small set of test case can be generated for a lot of inputs um, the problem with this boundary value analysis is that it does not test all the possible inputs. It does not test dependency between combination of inputs. It is important that to understand these methods are used during the test design phase. And their influence is hard to see in the tests once they are implemented. Note that any level of testing unit testing, system testing, etc. can use any such design methods. So boundary value analysis has definitely a good way to catch most common user errors. And that is why we prefer boundary value analysis for catching such errors. I hope you find this tutorial helpful. Thank you.